Let's talk about a really cool and simple hack that you can do on a landing page. And that is, use it to redirect the viewer to another page. Why would you do this, you may ask? Well, a Project Broadcast user in the PB Facebook group was wanting to send out a link to his audience and he wanted to be able to track who was viewing that link. Now, of course, Project Broadcast has a tool built in for this called trackable links where you can set up a trackable link and indicate what link you want that to send the guest to. Um, and so for instance, I could create a trackable link for sending people to my YouTube channel. And then as they click on it in their text message, Project Broadcast is sending a unique link to each person that's identified to that particular contact, meaning that when they click on it, PB can tell me who clicked it and when. But the contact, when they click on that link, they have to then go through an extra step of confirming, yes, I want to proceed to the final destination. Well, this discussion in the Project Broadcast Facebook group was asking, is there a way to have a trackable link, but not have them have to go through that additional confirmation step? Now, I believe that additional step is there so that the viewer has transparency of what link they're clicking on, that it's not actually a PB link. It's going to take them elsewhere outside of a PB hosted site. So that's a good thing. We want transparency for our audience. But I do want to share a workaround that does let the viewer go automatically onto the final destination without having to click. It's an automatic redirect, but it still maintains the trackability that we love seeing in Project Broadcast. And you can do this not by using an official PB trackable link, but by instead using a PB landing page, which is still trackable. And the landing page will be built so that it has an automatic redirect in it. So this accomplishes the exact same thing as the trackable link without having that additional confirmation step. Plus it has the added benefit that it can act as sort of a link shortener. So as you may know, in our project broadcast messages, we can't use link shortener tools like a, a bit.ly or something like that. Um, and so if you have a really long link you wanna send people to, the good news is your project broadcast landing page link, which is trackable, um, is actually not super long. It's gonna fit nicely in your text. It's gonna look a little nicer. And so it can accomplish the same thing as Bitly, but you're building the redirect yourself instead of using that external tool. So anyway, that is the why of why you would want to do this. And then here's how, it's a very simple little hack. So step one is to create a new Project Broadcast landing page for this purpose. Give yourself a useful name. This is just an internal name for you to keep track of your landing pages, something like redirect whatever you are gonna send people to. And then the title and description can be useful because depending on how this page previews for the recipient, which might be dependent on their, their texting app, um, they can see what to expect. I can start designing. I'm just gonna do a blank design here. And then step two is in my editing screen, I need to drag in an HTML block, that's a code block, and paste in the special code. This is code that you can get from my blog post. And then inside the code, you can change two things. So one of them is, it says location equals, and then inside the quotes, you wanna put in your desired destination. And then the other thing you can change is the timeout. So right here, we're setting the timeout and right now it is set for 5,000. That is measured in milliseconds. So this, this is the delay. So how long will the person be on this page before this code kicks in and takes them to the redirect destination? So you can set it at zero, um, but even at zero, there's gonna be maybe a tiny lag. They'll probably see this page for a blink or two. And I like having a little bit of a lag in there just so they can kind of see, okay, I'm getting taken on to my destination. So um, that is up to you. I'm gonna set it for 5,000. And then that is my code block. So as is, the page is already going to redirect after my set timeout. But let's talk about step three. Step three is that you can optionally add a little bit of surrounding content to give context so that when they land there, like I said, even if you set it at a zero millisecond, um, time delay, the viewer is most likely gonna see this page for a moment or two. So it's an opportunity to just put a little content here if you want to. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. 
So step four is to save and test. You knew I wasn't gonna leave out the test step, right? You always should test your work. And in fact, I'm gonna test not just the site itself, but also the trackability by sending this to myself. So if I go ahead and go to my own contact, open chat, I'm going to pop this site into a message to myself. So I can go here to add a landing page to my message, select my landing page, and it's going to look like this, but upon sending, it is going to send the specific link that is unique to this viewer. So if I click on that, I can see five seconds and then it should redirect me and there it goes, it worked. Then I can go to the views and now, hey, I have one view, let's see who it was. Hey, Julie viewed it and it shows exactly when. So I can see that the tracking worked and the website itself worked, awesome. And so the final step, of course, is to send that link out. And when you send it via Project Broadcast, again, PB is going to give each recipient their own unique version of that link. And then that allows PB to track who has viewed it and when. And of course, if you like what you've created, then every time you clone that landing page, you can reuse it again and again to create other trackable links and at the same time, shorten links to your destinations because that code will be on your page ready to go and all you'll have to edit is that destination. And that does it. I hope this little quick tip has been handy for you. And if you like it, then just know that I have lots of other ideas on my YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe and click to get notified when I release new content for you. If there's something else you are wondering about Project Broadcast or in particular landing pages, which I love talking about, comment below and let me know what you would love to be able to do. And I'll see you next time.